Taking an Excel assessment test can be quite a stressful ordeal, and trying to find relevant information online can also prove difficult. With that in mind, we at Job Test Prep have made a short video summarizing the five most common topics that appear on Excel assessment tests. Opening and saving. Saving and opening a document is crucial to the continuity of the workflow. Questions are often simple, but since Excel has several saving options, such as saving in different formats, saving as a template, etc., this topic should be given some emphasis when preparing for the test. Sort. Sort allows a user to sort data according to a certain rule, such as from largest to smallest or the days of the week. Depending on the test's difficulty level, questions on this subject vary between simple single-column sorting to more complex tasks that require sorting tables according to one of their columns or creating a custom sort according to several columns by a chosen order. Insert a new row or column. Inserting new columns or rows, while an easy topic, is very common on the Excel test. This function can be performed in several different ways, and you may be asked about any one of them. You can insert a new row or column by right-clicking on the designated location and choosing the relevant option from the menu or through ribbon. The new column or row's position is determined by the cell, column, or row selected at the time of executing the command. Knowing how these different methods operate is crucial. Autofill. Autofill is used to shorten the tedious process of filling in large data sets. It picks up on patterns that exist in the data and fills cells according to those patterns. Questions often revolve around detecting the possible pattern autofill might pick up on, or using this feature to complete a certain task. Things can get more complicated when using autofill on cells containing functions as the cell references within the function often change. Sum and average function. Sum and average are two of the most popular Excel functions and therefore are very likely to appear on your test. You can be shown an example of one of these functions along with accompanied data and asked either about the result or about how to execute the function by writing in the formula bar or accessing it through the ribbon. Now that you know the five most common topics on the test, it's time to start practicing. Click the button to access Job Test Prep's exclusive interactive practice material designed with the goal of maximizing each potential candidate's test score. Prepare now and practice with software similar to the one used by employers. Good luck!